Welcome to my review of the My Love Edition 2021 as you can see these are from TFZ or TFZ depending on where you come from and as usual the full disclaimer these were actually sent out to me by TFZ themselves I was not paid anything for this video and all the thoughts and opinions are my own and yet, let's get into the video so as you can see my love edition 2021 this is meant to be a revised version of the i think the 2019 version just the my love in your monitor there the emblem there same there so scratch and check if it's genuine two colors that silver one looks kind of neat but mine's obviously the purple one there's some information about the company themselves website and go to it nothing there a bit of foam protection comes with mediums fitted single dynamic driver as you can see just in there I like the cool crazy flake design this one's obviously left little emblem there TFZIEM little nip on the nozzle to keep it keep the tips on tight oops it's hard trying to do this through a camera lens but yeah, it's, My Love 2021 says R oh, for right single DD which I do like cable kind of unique it says R oh, obviously I'll, I'll show you in the next clip a proper look at the cable but yeah I like that that's pretty good for what's in, like I said, I've said before, but it's good to see really nice quality cables included instead of the garbage that used to be available before. But it seems good. Straight connector. So you can see. Shirt clip if you need to, if, if you need to use it. Seems fine. User guide. The other side should be Chinese. It's information. All the models. So that there it is. My Love Edition 2021. 55 ohm impedance, 108 decibels sensitivity, 11.4 millimeter double magnet circuit graphene dynamic driver, the second generation. And compared to one I've actually reviewed before, the Live 3. Uh, it's a different impedance. Same size driver, but the impedance is different. And that's it. See, Chinese on the back. So it actually, it actually comes with three lots of mediums. So let's just take one out of there. So as you can see, normal bore and wide bore tips. So it's good to see it comes with the two fitted and two different sets. So that's good. So in the next clip, I'll just run over the actual cable. So it comes with a cap, which you don't need. 3.5, quite a unique cable. Good strain relief. Call it, yeah. Quite a unique flex, it's very soft and it shouldn't really kind of get tangled from its kind of design. Nice cable, no real kinks in it or anything like that. There's the emblem TFZ splits into two. You can see there, half a right. Good strain, kind of ear form guides, really flexible. Hard to say really, but it's 
nothing to say in, in anything bad about it. it works fine there's l yeah works good nice to see a different kind of cable is fitted feels slightly like rubber but it's also very soft and smooth yeah good cable now on to the review section this is obviously a better look my love edition 2021 meant to be a renewed version of an older model but to be honest i've only ever tried this model and obviously the live 3 um which was a again another good model tuning's a bit different let's get on to fitment and the comfort fit and comfort is quite good these fit me really well and they do isolate really good they also use that kind of the tfz tfz kind of connection that's what it looks like but you can use it normal two pins it's but the cable it comes with is perfectly fine there's no need to swap it same with the tips the tips are actually quite good so that's what it looks like they say l for left and the other one says r for right there's a nozzle to help keep the tips on single dynamic but it acts as like two dynamic drivers that's you can see it easily there there's a vent for it to basically breathe for it to work which is there um isolation isolation i said is quite good the impedance of this is i think 50 ohms or 55 ohms so these are a little bit harder to power than traditional they still have a lot of high sensitivity just a little, a little bit harder to power because of the impedance but no issues really sound stage i thought was pretty good not the biggest i've heard but its actual stage was um fine really onto the sound now these are this is where this is i expected something a bit different these have less bass than i expected a lot of the tfz or tfz products do tend to have a uh, plenty of low end sometimes too much sometimes enough sometimes kind of a good fundament i found these slightly lean on bass um, i tried the different tips didn't really make much difference in the way of bass response um, i'll try this with a few different audio adapters smsl idea i tried it with this sonata hd pro and i tried it with my new sonata hd2 which will be an upcoming video and yeah it seemed it powered, all those power this fine just these are not i didn't find them that bassy they do have it and the decay seems fine they're not a bassy i was expecting more of a v-shape these are more of a really mild v especially in the low end um let's talk about mids these have an elevated upper mid so vocals are forward and the same with the lower treble this is as an elevated kind of that kind of section the frequency range so i found vocals was very clear instruments was clear instrument separation was also very good in a bunch of different genres i tried this with a few different female singers and they're always very clear and even male singers was quite was quite clear so for actual music this is actually yeah is is better than i expected it has less bass than i expected that's not always a bad thing you can always eq things up or down you know it's obviously your preference so obviously this is the right one I do like the crazy kind of blingy look they do stand out yeah so that's what they look like uh so treble um I, like i said lower treble i find it quite elevated um very clear earphones to listen to just not bassy which i was kind of expected which is good or bad but on the whole across a lot of genres these performed i think quite well uh, quite surprised i've actually done quite a good job it's a shame i didn't listen to the the older version i think it's the 2019 version you know so you can see what, it, what each one is like but i think yeah for what they are they do perform quite well they've got models which are more expensive than this so i like to see what they'll you know what they're kind of like in comparison but yeah it's a good product there you go and on to the conclusion so my conclusion of the tfz 
or TFZ My Love Edition 2021. Uh, these are actually pretty good. There is a but more bass light than I expected, but that's not all actually kind of a bad thing. I do like that crazy like metallic like metal flake finish. They do look quite good, quite unique. Um, these are kind of more mid forward, lower treble kind of forward, but everything was very clear very crisp the stage was good slightly harder to power but it's not really a big deal but everything vocal wise these sounded very clear whether male or females probably more so with females as more forward but on the whole actually uh yeah it's quite good i was quite actually quite happy with these but if you're a bass head these aren't actually for you but for what i use these are not that bad just bear in mind they are high impedance so they are a little bit harder to power and i think that's it but yeah thank you for watching and take care